Hi, my name is Gemma Spinolio and I'm one of the internal medicine vets here at Veterinary Specialist Services. I'd like to talk to you today about how to check your pet's mucous membranes. This might be something that your vet uh, talks to you about for a number of reasons. And so this can be relevant for looking for the underlying cardiovascular status, you know, at the health of our circulation, um, or it can relate to other conditions like having anemia. So your pet has a number of different sites where you can assess, assess mucous membranes. Uh, the most commonly accessible area is the gums and so often we'll just lift that top lip and it's a really nice spot directly above that canine tooth on the top where you can see a lovely pink gums and that's the main mucous membranes we'll ask you to check. Sometimes you'll also be able to check things like the conjunctiva of the eyes and looking to see if there's paleness or swelling or pink um, and you can also check other mucous membrane sites beyond that but these are the main two we'll ask you to use. So. The main reason that your pet uh, needs this mucous membrane checked will depend on the underlying cause of what you've gone into the vet clinic for. There are some conditions that will present as fine red dots on the gums, which we call petechiae or ecchymoses, and they can be an indication of having low platelets and bleeding. The other reason that we check mucous membranes is as a sign of sort of cardiovascular status and hydration. And so what we're doing there is not only are we looking at the colour, but we're placing our finger gently until we blanch the site and we take it away. And what you're looking for is how quickly you get a capillary refill. It's normal to have moist pink gums that refill within two seconds. If there is a prolonged delay in that color coming back, hey Boston, it may be a sign of the cardiovascular status is not entirely normal. Um, or if it's a very rapid delay and bright red gums, that can also be a sign of inflammation and abnormality. It's important not to get confused that sometimes dogs with dental disease will have quite a bright red gingivitis, but that's usually just along the gum line adjacent to their teeth. And lastly, one of the other reasons you might be asked to assess your pet's mucous membranes can relate to underlying respiratory disease and sometimes cardiac disease too. If you see that your pet's gums or tongue are starting to look blue or purple, it can be a sign that they're not oxygenating appropriately. And so we call this cyanosis and it's a sign um, to look out for if your pet has an underlying heart disease or respiratory problem. One of the important things about uh, assessing your pet's mucous membrane is getting an understanding of what's normal for them. Some dogs have black pigmented gums, some dogs will have brown pigments here like Boston has. And if you know what their normal is, you're going to notice a change from that. Um, and so that could be looking for things like those red petechiae we talked about or a change from their gums being you know, very dark to very pale.